Hey, this is Mark Silver. I've got a customer's job here and I'm going to submit it to Opus. So let's download it. It's on a GPS receiver right now. And we'll give it a point ID and a description. I think it's in somebody's backyard. And let's submit it to Opus. Press Control V here. Open it. And I'm just going to take all the defaults and we'll click Upload to Rapid Static. And in a few minutes, we'll get a result back from Opus. So after a few minutes, I get this Opus solution back. And it says that it has aborted. You can see it says insufficient good data after detecting cycle slips and deleting short segments found only zero epochs with good data. Requires at least three epochs of usable data exiting. So what does this mean? Well, I'm going to admit, I'm really not quite sure what it means. But I've got some ideas how we can make this same job submit successfully. First off, let's go to the NGS website and look at some of the sites that are around this location. We go to the NGS website and click on cores and then map this file is from Pennsylvania so let's go through and look at some of these sites obviously it's the the file is taken and here in Hagertown I'm going to click on LOYQ and then get side info that opens another window and let's look at the data availability you can see that for day 176, this is the top line when this file was collected, we have good data for the entire day. I'm also going to look at the time series. And these look just fine. Let's go back and look at the next closest point, which is HAG6. Again, I'll click on data availability. And we'll see, oh, you know, this job was run from uh, 3 p.m. UTC, 4 p.m. So there's no data at HAG6. So let's not use that in our solution. There's also at the same location, there's an HAG5. We'll look at that one and check out the data availability there. Okay. Again, it looks like there's some data availability problems here at HAG5. I'm also going to look at the time series for that. Yeah, it looks pretty good, but I'm, I'm kind of spooked out about HAG5. Let's go back. Some of the other nearby sites are, um, there's a UNAVCO site, P817 here. Let's check it. It has perfect availability. Let's also check the time series. I think this site has only been available since February, but for a new site, it looks pretty stable. We'll definitely want to include this one. Here's LOYC. I think that's one of the closer ones. Let's check this one also. Click on Get Site Info and then Data Availability. This site had some problems back on day 170, but it looks very clean for day 176, which is what we're interested in. Let's look at the short-term time series. Ooh, I don't like this. You can see that the northern position is gradually drifting to the north. That kind of freaks me out, and we're lucky in this location that we've got a whole bunch of course sites that are really close. I think I'm also going to remove LOYC from our solution. So let's go back and fine-tune this solution a bit. 
Okay, I'm going to manually make this submission. I'll go to Opus. I'm going to use the exact same zip file that I used in the previous submission. I'll go down here and I'll manually choose the I'll enter my email address and then I'm going to request an extended output and I'm going to exclude HAG5 and HAG6 and LOYC and then I'm going to explicitly give Opus a list of stations that I would like it to use. So I've gone through and decided that L-O-Y-Q, Y-O-R-K, L-O-Y-S, P-A-F-C, Z-D-C-1, P-A-F-M, L-O-Y-4, L-O-Y-9, A-L-L-G, and I think that will be enough base stations. We'll click on Upload to Rapid Static here. And you can see that it's going to use these base stations and exclude these base stations. Okay, you can see the result of that submission is different. It says the data only contained values for a single frequency. The Rhinox file was not formatted correctly or one of the lines in the Rhinox files over 80 characters in length. Hmm. Okay, let's try again. So, on this one, I think I'll just pick three. So the job that I just submitted using a couple of excludes and a couple of forced includes for the core station was processed just fine. Here's the solution. You can see it's not bad horizontal. The vertical has an ellipsoid height estimate, air estimate of four centimeters. If you go down you can see the stations that it used. Since I got an extended output, I can come down towards the bottom and I can look at the residuals and you'll notice that York has a residual of five centimeters and LWX1 is five and PAFC is five. I could go back and exclude these core stations. However, I don't think that my 20 minute solution or an hour solution will get much better. I was able to force the solution to converge by forcing a couple of stations and by excluding others. And if I change even one thing, it goes back to not being able to find a solution. Again, the input file is always the same. So what's my advice? My advice is, if you're doing a point that's important, to take two hours of data so that you can process it in Opus Static. Opus RS just doesn't seem to be robust enough, and it doesn't provide enough debugging information for me to figure out how to fix my problems. So hopefully, this exercise has shown you how to evaluate core stations to use in your Opus RS solutions. We've forced some to be used and we've excluded others and allowed a file that wouldn't process otherwise to successfully process. I wish I could give you a better cookbook approach to this, but since the error reporting from Opus RS doesn't really exist, I mean you just find out something was wrong, there's really not much you can do to follow a set path to get an answer. If you have anything to add, don't hesitate to call me. Thank you.